Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to be doing something else that's different. We're actually going to be doing a cooking video. So today we're going to be cooking homemade egg rolls. Um, this is a recipe that my mom used to do um, all the time growing up. And now it's one of my favorite foods to cook and to eat as well. Um, the recipe is pretty simple to be honest. Um, some of the parts are a little bit more time consuming. Um, but it's really worth it to be honest. Um, so we just want to know what goes into this recipe or how the egg rolls turn out. Just keep on watching. Okay guys, so while I prepare the filling for the egg rolls, I'm going to go ahead and boil four potatoes. Typically, I like doing the egg rolls with the side of mashed potatoes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let these boil in the meantime. And then once they're done boiling, I'll let you know what I do with them afterwards. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the chicken. Um, usually, I use one and a half to two chicken breasts. Um, it depends on how much I want left over, like typically if I want to have leftovers for lunch, I will make more and if it's just for the house and I'll make less. Um, excuse the background and the noise, you know, our kids. Um, so yeah, we're just going to cut them into um, long slices and then cut them up into little squares. Okay guys, and after the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and cut the cabbage. Um, typically, typically for each one and a half to two chicken breasts, I use basically almost half of the cabbage. Um, the cabbage itself actually is what makes the um, egg roll filling look at like a lot um, before being cooked. Just because after it gets cooked and warmed, um, it shrinks dramatically. Um, same thing as I did with the chicken. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into long slices. And then into small squares and then honestly right after so it could look smaller i'm gonna go through um over it with the knife um honestly the cooking part of this um for these egg rolls not that hard it's just more time consuming than anything um but honestly they're worth it um i used to that's one of the things i like to cook the most um like I said, it's time consuming. And the good thing is if you cook enough, Mommy, you could use it for the following Mommy, lunch. It's, it's barbecue. Ah, yeah, yeah. You could use it for like your following lunch. So it serves more than one meal. Um, I got this recipe from my mom when I lived back at home with my parents. But of course, I've done my own modifications with my family. And then if you want to know what else goes into this egg roll, just watch. keep on watching. Okay, so I'm almost done with the cabbage. I'm just going over it like I had said previously to make sure it's a little bit more finely chopped. Um, this ended up being about like two and a half, two to two and a half cups of cabbage if you want like more of an exact measurement. And um, yeah, this one step down. And after the cabbage, I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, carrots ready. I use typically use shredded carrots about, I wanna say like, a cup, a cup and a half, or a handful and a handful and a half. Um, you can shred the carrots yourself, buy the whole carrots and shred them yourself, or just buy the shredded um, carrots already. I That's typically what I do, just because it's more time efficient, and you know with three little kids, you kind of have to improvise where you can. Okay, so after I get the carrots ready, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the potatoes that also go inside of the egg roll. I'm gonna cut them first into the circular shape and then once I'm done with both of these potatoes, typically I use um, two potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them into long strips as well. And for the potatoes, I'm not gonna cut, dice them into small squares. Um, I'm just gonna leave them into these small slices. Okay guys, so now that we have all the ingredients for the filling ready, we're going to go ahead and start mixing them together in a mixing bowl. So we're going to add the chicken. We're going to add the cabbage. The carrot, shredded carrots. Potatoes. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna season the egg roll filling. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. Um, a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. Okay, a tablespoon of onion powder. One beaten egg. And then I am also using this sweet and chili sauce. I honestly didn't measure any cups. I believe it's about like half a cup, but I did hit seven tablespoons of in it or until desired taste. I'm gonna add all of that in there. Okay, and now I'm just gonna mix all these ingredients. Usually when I see the filling is a little bit too dry, I'll go ahead and add more of this sweet and chili sauce. Okay. Okay, so I pretty much am done mixing the filling. I ended up using another tablespoon of the sweet and chili sauce. So that made it about, oh yeah, a total of eight tablespoons. And now we're gonna get to the egg roll making process. Um, and these are the egg roll wraps that I'm going to use. I typically use um, a little more than two of these packages. I'm not sure how many of them come in a package. Um, but yeah, you could get these egg roll wraps or any egg roll wraps of your choice. I also went ahead and beat another egg because I am going to use this um, to close the egg roll. So be more sealed tight. Um, so yeah, just keep on watching to see how I make the actual egg roll. Okay guys, so now we're actually gonna go ahead and start with the actually filling process of the egg roll. So I'm gonna get the egg roll wrap, have it in this position, kind of like, I don't really know how to explain it. But I'm gonna go ahead and have it in this position and then I'm gonna get two spoonfuls of the filling. Just using a regular spoon, not the actual measurement. Full of the filling. Okay, make sure it's evenly spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom end, wrap it over the filling, tuck it in, roll it one time, get these two ends on the side, put them in. Same thing with this additional end, kind of end that's left over, tuck it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keep rolling until I get to the end. And then on this other top corner, I'm gonna go ahead and get, um the egg with my finger and just put the egg and then just close it and there's my first egg roll um it's basically like a mini burrito okay it took me about 10 to 15 minutes i finally wrapped all the egg rolls um with the ingredients i gave you i ended up doing 29 egg rolls so with this recipe you can make a total of 29 um 30 depending how much you actually end up putting um filling you end up putting in the egg roll so now we're gonna go ahead and start fighting frying them okay so we're gonna put the egg rolls i'm gonna do it in between the medium and the low heat so i won't cook too fast usually in this pan um usually six to seven of them fit and i know you guys my pan looks dirty but it's not we've just been having it for like around five to six years. Okay. We're gonna leave them in each side until they're cooked golden brown. And we're gonna of course be turning them like I said, I have it in medium to low heat. That way the outside won't get burned too fast and the inside, giving the inside enough time to cook properly. Um, so while I get my first batch started, I'm going to go ahead and start on the side of mashed potatoes. Yeah. Okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead and get started on the mashed potatoes. Um, I boiled four uh, potatoes. Typically, I'll boil four to five. Um, I boiled them already peeled. I uh, used to boil them with the peel, but I started peeling them because I noticed that it gives the mashed potato a more smoother, silky texture if I boil them 
already peeled. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about almost one tablespoon of salt. Maybe half because it's gonna come out too salty. Depends on your salt preference to be honest. And then I'm gonna do about four tablespoons of butter. And I love to smash it when they're on the hotter side just because it helps melt the butter much more easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna go ahead and start smashing them. You guys, I love mashed potatoes. My husband doesn't like mashed potatoes as much, but I do. Especially when they're buttery. I like mine salty. Really good um, side dish, to be honest, in case like you don't know. Um, if you do feel like um, your potatoes are too dry for your taste with the four tablespoons. Oh, I would add another one. Most likely, I'll end up adding about one or two more. Probably, I'll add them right now. So, then this is the fifth. Like I said, I like my mashed potatoes buttery. And this is the sixth. And then, it's for your own taste, but this is my own preference to be all tasteful. Now that I'm done with the mashed potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and put that girls. And if you guys are busy, that does seem so good. Um, he usually likes eating ours with some sriracha sauce. So let's stay tuned for the end to see how they come out. I saw we just finished the egg rolls and the mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes. Um, we're really excited about trying it. Like I said, I usually make these often, but I actually haven't made them in like at least two to three weeks. Um, so yeah, do you want to go ahead and go first, baby? Give me your review. Yeah, so I'm just gonna try with sriracha sauce. Yeah, so Robbie usually likes trying it with sriracha sauce. I do too, but I mostly like um, sriracha mayo. Right. Like Even the gyoza spice. sauce is good for you. Hey. No, Papa, no, Papa, that's spicy. That's spicy. I like it a little mm. bit. No. Mm. Yep, as you can tell, the kids want some. Hey. I play video games here. Mmm. Really good. I really recommend that you try this recipe at home. Like I said, it's time consuming. Um, it's most, no, honestly the most time consuming portion of the recipe. Is that's where you have to cut all the um, ingredients for the filling. But other than that, pretty simple. Um, I, I always sold this myself because when I first moved out with my husband, I wasn't much of a cook. Didn't have more, a lot of knowledge about cooking. And it was pretty easy to make. And like I said, I really, really like it in this household. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Just make sure, like, comment, subscribe the channel. Uh, and don't okay. forget, never grow up. <laughs> yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace. Peace. Peace.